I got Fia! Woohoo! There's a blimp over there! Hello my friends! My name is Sammy Cake and welcome to Vlogmas Day! So as you can see, the biggest news this week is I got the Oculus Rift! Wow! It's so awesome! I'm so happy to have it. Um, I got to thank Ish for that because he bought it for me whilst it was on sale. Because I, I don't know if it's on sale now, it shouldn't be. But it was on sale for 3 99 99 instead of however much it was before. Um, I know they did like a price cut and they made it to 3 99 99 to begin with. And then they're going to bring it up to 4 99 instead of what it was before that. Because um, before that it was like. 700 or so, I think. I'm not sure. So we got it was it is cheap. Oh, wow. Well, cheaper. It's still not cheap. <laughs> but I got VR and it's so awesome. It's not the first time I've ever used VR, to be honest, because I used it before when I was at university. Someone at my university had an Oculus Rift back then and it's doing work with an Oculus Rift. And also I used it before when I went to um, EGX in Birmingham before. That was pretty cool. <laughs> but now I've got my very own VR and it's so awesome. I have a few issues with it, which is space. I don't have much space, but I do have this whole room. But it's difficult to find a space because I've got this thing behind me, which I might need to move, which I don't want to move. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, to be honest. I think I'm moving it a bit more left. And then if I can move it a bit more left, I might be able to move it a bit more back. I don't know, we'll see, but it's going to be a lot of trouble to do that. <laughs> and also, it's got these sensors as well. And the sensors have to be like six feet apart. Three to six feet apart, I think. I don't know. And it's a bit difficult to make that space on my computer. Like, my TV at the moment is pushed all the way back down there because of the sensor over there. And it's not like it's in the middle. Because the sensor is here, and my other sensor is like all the way over here. And it's just like, ah. Yeah, I need more space. <laughs> so I'm thinking of moving my monitor back over there and see if that works. But I don't know. Then there's also the other issue with my GPU. Um, for starters, I don't meet the minimum requirements. I mean, it still runs things fine to an extent. Like, after a while of like messing around with things, it does get a bit jittery, so I need to restart my computer. But then when I restart my computer, it's all fine again. Um, I don't know how recording is going to go. Recording might be a bit difficult right now. Maybe. Because it might just completely mess up. <laughs> um, but, another issue is I've only got one HDMI port on my GPU. So that means I can't plug in my TV. <laughs> so I can't have two screens whilst I'm recording. Well, I, I have to use my Oculus Rift, but I, I, I basically need another GPU. Then I can have like three HDMIs and use one for this with HDMI, that HDMI, and this HDMI, and then I'm all good. Hopefully. But other than space and GPU, it's all good. I really enjoy it because I also got the touch controllers with it. Oh! And they're so awesome. Like, you actually think they're your hands at points. Like, it's, it's just so weird. It's so weird. I, I really love it. It's so cool. Like, I remember one time I like hit my table accidentally, of course, accidentally. And I was like, ah, looking at my hand. Like, I don't see anything on it. It's okay. But wait, that's not my hand, it's a virtual hand. It's not my real hand. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, there's this uh, demo like to start off with a virtual reality. And it's like a robot that appears. I might record it because it's so awesome. It's such a really good experience to start off with VR. Um, I made Phil do it and he really loves it. He loves it so much. <laughs> I don't really want to talk too much about it just in case I do end up recording it but I recorded Phil playing it and it was so funny <laughs> but you can do some really stupid things whilst doing VR like oh one of the things annoying with this one was that I had to put my hands like there to like push up and down or to grab something but the table was in the way 
So I couldn't do it. I was just like, eh. Oh, shoot. Eh. Oh, God, my filter fell. So basically, it uses a lot of turbo, but it's so awesome at the same time, and I, I really do love it. I, I want to use it more. Oh. I'm re downloading Steam VR at the moment, which I actually just finished as soon as I said that. Well, I, I say I am re downloading it because I uninstalled it because I was having issues. Then I realised I probably shouldn't have uninstalled it. And when I say it finished then, it was actually Steam VR Workshop because I downloaded some, some Zelda maps on it. Yay! <laughs> I also got some Nautica, which I could try in VR. I'm a bit scared about trying it on VR, but. I think that'd be really interesting. I tried Minecraft from VR as well, which was also pretty interesting, but I don't have my VR legs at the moment, so walking around VR, I do get a bit motion sick, I got to admit. But it's pretty awesome. I tried out for Lab as well, which I might end up recording as well, which was so cool, because it's just in this portal world, but well, at least one bit of it was in this portal world, and you have to, um, work on Atlas. I think it was Atlas, because I know it's Atlas and Peabody, and Peabody is the long one, isn't it? And Atlas is the round one. I always get them mixed up, but I'm pretty sure that's right. When I think of Peabody, I think of like a pea pod, because he looks a bit like a pea pod. And Atlas, world, so it's round, so it makes sense. Oh, but it's so cool. I also got to sort out my internet, because my internet sucks so bad. It's so annoying. Ah! Like, at the moment it's okay, because it's at like 700 kilobytes per second. Which isn't really that great, because it's meant to be at like... 4 megabytes per second, I think. I don't know. I, I got 200 megabytes per second internet, but... Yeah. <laughs> so that's been really annoying with my internet. Uh, yesterday it was going at like 2 bytes per second. It was ridiculous. It hates night time. <laughs> But other than that, it's, yeah. I just need to get something sorted out before I can use it properly. But I just got to save up. But that's going to be difficult to save up because uh, it's my mum's birthday next month. It's Phil's birthday next month. And Monster Hunter Stories is coming out next month. I mean, I haven't been hyped up before, but I tried for demo. And I was playing for demo for eight hours, nearly, I think. I don't know. But it was so good. I really loved it. And now I'm really worried I won't be able to get it. But I think I will be able to get it. But oh, I need to play it. It's so good. And I also wanted to play Wicked Morty VR game. There's so many games. The thing is, it's just like the time when all the games are coming out. And I want to play them, but I can't. I just can't afford them. Oh. But actually, whilst I'm here, if you have any VR games you know of, Preferably free, but if you know some that are not free, do tell me in the comments below if you think I should try them out because I am interested in trying out more VR games. I mean, it, I did have a massive look on the Steam shop looking for VR for Oculus Rift. It has to be Oculus Rift. Um, and I have got a few downloaded on my computer to try out. Although, I just had some that was like online and I realised I can't really do them because my internet sucks! Woo! So yeah, <laughs> this is going to be fun. But anyway, enough of my jibber jabber. I, I spoke for too long. <laughs> but we're going to move on to Kate If you have a Kate Shrinners, hashtag Kate in the comments below, right there. And I will answer it next week on Vlogmas Day. The first Kate this week is from Prithi Uni. I think I said your name right. I hope I did. <laughs> and they ask, will you play Until Dawn? Um, I'm not sure because... I know a while back you can get it for free on PlayStation Plus. I, I think Phil got it for free. I don't know if it's still playable. I hope it is. But yeah, Phil did that. And I was thinking about playing it. But the thing is, I know what happens. I pl I didn't play it. I watched PewDiePie, I think, play it. I think, yeah. I'm just going to say yeah. Um. So it's not gonna like surprise me because I know what happens. But it's not the first time I've done games like that where I knew what happened. Like um, Last of Us, that was my second playthrough when I recorded that because I really loved that game. So I wouldn't completely say no to it. 
But it's unlikely I will do it, but I don't know. We'll see. Because I do really like the look of the game, and it is pretty cool. <laughs> this case unit is on James, and he asks, How much would your mind explode if there was a Rick and Morty slash Family Guy? 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 Cross Hoover? If it ever happens, I will lose it. Yeah. <laughs> I think that'd be so cool. Um. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think it would be on the actual Rick and Morty show. If it did, it'd probably be like a minor thing. But if anything, it would be on the Family Guy show. And it'd be so awesome. It'd be amazing if that ever happened. Hasn't it been like a Rick and Morty and Simpsons crossover? I'm not sure. It, it sounds familiar. But it was, like, it was actually on the Simpsons show, wasn't it? I don't know. Um, I'm really confused now. But yeah, that would be so cool if there was one. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think my mind would pretty much explode as well, so it'd be kind of it'd be awesome. And last case this week is from Muted Noobster, and they asked, Hey Sammy, when you were a kid, did you watch cartoons like Powerpuff Girls, Pinky and the Brain, DuckTales, and Animatics? Uh, Animaniacs? Yeah, Animaniacs. If not, can you name some you did watch? Yeah, I didn't really watch those ones. Um, I watched a lot of Spongebob. I really like Spongebob. Um, Fairly Odd Parents, that was awesome. There was this one called Danny Phantom I used to watch. Um, I'm trying to think of the main ones I watched. Because I did watch some other ones a little bit. Like Rugrats. No, there was like a Rugrats when they were a bit older. When they were like teenagers or something. I used to watch that a little bit. Um, there was also a show called Trolls, uh, but it wasn't the ones with. Um, it wasn't guy trolls. It was a female version of trolls, and they had like these magical stones. And I really loved that when I was younger, because I used to collect these like stones, and I used to pretend that they were my magic power, and I can use that to to be powerful. Woo! <laughs> I really liked it though. Um, I, don't, I can't remember. I, I was just a little Spongebob mainly. Oh, I w When I was like 14, 15, I used to watch um, Avatar The Last Airbender. But it's like an American anime. So I don't know if that really counts as cartoons. Because there's also Pokemon. I used to love Pokemon, of course. Who didn't? If you didn't, you're a disappointment. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. There were so many things I used to watch. But those were the main ones, really. And that's all the cases we have for this week on Vlogmas Day! Woo! <laughs> if you have a case you use hashtag case in the comments below, right there. And I will answer next week on Vlogmas Day! I don't think there's anything else I really want to talk about right now. I can't think of anything. I, I don't know if everything will look like this next week. We will see. Um, I don't know because I might rearrange stuff a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's see. <laughs> There's something else I wanted to say, but I can't remember what. Oh, streaming. I want to get back into streaming, but I don't know when I will be able to fully get back into streaming because of my crappy internet down here. So it might be a while before I can get back into streaming. Hopefully, me and Phil can get something sorted. Phil said he's gonna help look for like Wi Fi antennas we can put outside, maybe, and hopefully improve the internet down here. But we will see how that goes. Hopefully, not bad. Hopefully. But yeah, hopefully, streaming become a thing again in the near future. But other than that, I'm gonna leave the video here of Blackness Day. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like. Comment, subscribe. All of it is so greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. For more social media is down below, right there. And that's it for the video of Blackness Day. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a cake-tastic day. Bye bye.